staples, I love it. Hello and welcome to another vlog. It's another grad school vlog, a grad school prep, prep vlog, but also I'm chilling, having fun and all that stuff. So we're still less than a week from the start of classes. And yesterday, one professor shared the ent entire syllabus and the other professor shared like, I'd say like a few weeks in and we got to see like one of the big assignments we'll have for at least the first half of the semester so that was nice because i got to see a little bit of like what to expect and what's coming and get a little bit more organized which was i had a little anxiety when i first saw some of the things that i'd be doing like i'm like seven to ten pages what am i going to talk about for that long because of being able to like put everything in my calendar and being able to see like what will be due when and seeing what books I need to read by what time and just kind of getting a little bit more understanding of what's going on. I feel so much like more relieved and less like anxiety because it's like, okay, it's still going to be like seven to 10 pages. is still a lot to, to write about and like having multiple page papers due in multiple classes. I'm, I'm not saying like that's not going to be a lot of work, but I'm also like much more calm about it and less worried, I guess. Um, Cause you know, how do you do a big thing? You just go piece by piece. So starting last night, I was just like, you know what? I'm ready to relax now. I have just been like chilling cause I feel calmer now. I know I am later on gonna do some Spanish. My Spanish, but I do need to, uh, I have been, I finally have gotten back to working on my vocabulary and things like that. But I'm also, we're also doing this really fun project that's all about like Spanish, like mythology um, from Spain. But some of it, it's like all of these combined has me so ready for fall, like, f like actual fall, not the fall semester because it's, it's very hot right now. But like, just I'm in fall, even like the Pinterest stuff I've been looking at for the last couple of weeks have been very 
fall. For the rest of the day, I did mention I'm gonna do some Spanish. I am in the middle of cleaning up right now. Just wanted to start this vlog. But we're gonna also be going to a French like movie night. Their subtitles, because I don't know French at all. So that's very exciting. And gonna keep doing some fun things. Also, orientation is tomorrow. I'll definitely take some clips before and I need to go to the library, like the university library to pick up a book. Yeah, all right, well, back to cleaning up and see you later. <laughs> T'as vu un roquet de 5 mètres au large de la pointe Si on fait rien, on va avoir un drame. Je vais pas mourir. So it's been a long time since I've seen you. <laughs> um, it's actually only been two days and for you it's been like not even a five seconds. But I, look, the last two days I've just been in my bed. My period came, look, I'm like, oh, TMI, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? This is how it goes. <laughs> and I thought it would be, I went back and forth on whether I should talk about it. But I'm like, look, the first two days every month takes me out and... I'm not going to be filming, but also I think it's also a good representation of the full experience. You know, like I'm very, I'm always studying. I'm always, or at least in the final product, I'm very productive unless I was vocally saying like, I'm so behind, which is like actually a lot of the time. But I figured like you should, you should be aware that I didn't do anything for the last two days except try not to die. So I wasn't really worried about that because I'm really I was really glad that the worst part was like this weekend and not when class was starting because we're gonna be outside it's like 90 gonna be 90 some degrees uh this week I think Thursday is going to be 100 like high temperature so anyway to catch you up on what's going on now I'm actually we're about to leave I um we're just gonna go Tesla wants to go to Lowe's and I was like oh sounds like <laughs> fun I was like I don't know what it is about going to the store like at Walmart like I love doing the self-checkout well part of the reason is we have bring our own bags and I've always feel bad making some pack my own bags when like it's not going to be the Walmart bags it's just way complicated but I'm like I literally told Tess oh my gosh I love doing this and I don't I do not know why like scanning it and putting my anyway um I'm very excited to go to Lowe's even though I don't need to do anything there um and maybe we'll just go see what Target is talking about um but also um I just got, went through and really organized what I have to do for the week because I have a few big projects this week and I'm including like my first day of classes in those projects but there's this podcast I'm trying to create for the black sportswomen my publication all about black women athletes in sports history but also I am working on a it's like a story I'm doing for my Spanish class and I'm going to finish the first draft this week because the second draft due next week but school probably will be picked up by then so I'm trying to get like 
the bulk of it done um because as you'll see with some of the pro the work i want to do this week um i like my first touch on something i don't want that to be the only time i work on it like for example with my readings for class I did one like set of readings already for one of my classes because it was like super easy and I was like let's just get this out the way but of course I want to review and look through it again before class because my first honestly my first two but just definitely more than I need to see things more than once and definitely more than 24 hours um if possible before I need to start talking about it because I'm a processor I need to process my information before I can talk about it and honestly I prefer to see the big picture before we even start you know talking about any all these other things but anyway I went through and wrote out on Notion and honestly I don't have like a Notion page honestly it's just like a blank sheet where I wrote out my big projects for the week which is really four things and then I wrote down the things that I need to do every day to get those done and I feel so much more like relaxed and calm and less overwhelmed now that I have those like written out so once I once we get back from the store I'm gonna get working on those but really they're so small but it's so much less daunting when I'm looking at it from that perspective of these small things that I need to do versus Oh my gosh, you have to write, figure out this whole podcast and put all these pieces together. Or, oh my goodness, you have to be prepared to talk about something in class on Wednesday. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm up to. Wanted to catch you up. And now we're off to Lowe's. <laughs> So I got some, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the thing we're doing right now in Spanish is like very mythology based and I've just been watching a bunch of videos and movies and reading books and just like focusing on halloween e things. Like not necessarily just like, not even fall things, but like spooky, all that stuff. So I'm prefacing why I'm even more excited about the things I want to show you, but also just kind of the vibe, the headspace that I am in. Have I been reading? I haven't been reading that much, but I'll talk to you about it. But I got Dia de los Muertos. This Disney. What is this? Disney. Like, just like. Is this a vampire? A lady vampire. Vampiress. Vamp vampire. <laughs> uh, vampira. And then also. This is a, just general fall coffee. So I got, I was very excited about these for a couple reasons because when I, we saw Marshalls and I was like, oh, I'm not going to Marshalls, but Marshalls, TJ Maxx, 
which is also apparently TJX, but uh, all those stores always have like the cool coffee on a discount and I'm set for the whole fall. But also I was kind of worried. I was just thinking about this earlier. I was like, man, am I almost out of Nespresso pods? So I'm set on coffee for a while, which I'm very excited about. But also earlier today when we went to Walmart, I got some dresses that I'm so excited about. Walmart has been like one of my favorite places for clothes. Like my skirt that I love that I wore to like the Premier League game. Also Walmart, so cute. So I just got two dresses in the same style and they're kind of, they're like longer. I'm gonna wear my tennis shoes with them. So I'm gonna go put these in the wash now cause they need to be washed. But yeah, I'm really excited about those because they're gonna be so cute. I don't, it's gonna be really confusing on what I'll wear to class uh this coming week because my classes are later in like e afternoon into the evening classes but it's like it's still really hot at that time so we'll see if I wear that or not I feel like I'm leaning toward it but if not I'm still very excited because I feel like I'm finally done with like the wardrobe for the fall and kind of like some of the staples for this semester and like just having one less thing to worry about the same thing with my to-do list like having one less thing to worry about has me so excited so I'm gonna finish hydrating I actually need to eat I don't know what my deal is but I need to go eat and then I'm gonna get back to work so very excited about that just <sighs> but yes back to work we go I'm drinking my new coffee that I got yesterday. It's actually, I actually got the wrong flavor, but it turns out to be pretty good. It has like flavors of apple, cinnamon, and something else. But it was actually turned out pretty good. I even made like a rookie mistake and was pouring too much water, wasn't paying attention. And it still is good. And that's exciting because tis the season, you know, and all that, but I'm actually allergic to apples and cardamom and like all all spice and like all those spices like black pepper um so i can't have any of that stuff unless i want to be extremely i'm not gonna do it not on purpose at least it's really not exciting so this is like the closest i'll get and it's such a like warm cool vibe um so i started the day i'm actually in between like, i'm reading like a lot of books two of them in spanish um the shadow of the wind i read that in english already so that's kind of like my lead. I'm leading with that because I know the story is more familiar and I think it's easier to understand because I know the story. And I read the first section of that book like five times for some reason. So it's extremely familiar. And also easier to read because the other book I'm reading is called The Animated Forest or yeah, basically. Um, and that one's a fantasy book as well. So it's really interesting to see like similar words being used, but it's more, it's like more archaic language. Um, it was written in 1943 by somebody who was born in like 1880 something. So it's definitely Shadow of the Wind is easier and also, but they're both really interesting in like, uh, atmospheric. And then I'm also reading Violetta by... Isabel Allende and that is for the Romance Language Center book club which the book is honestly I know it's like a saga of this person's long life which I really love those kind of books but we're starting with like the pandemic of 
like 1918, um, like the flu pandemic. And it's like triggering. Like I just, I'm like, let's finish this chapter or something or whatever. I just, mm. but I think it is, I think, I actually think it's going to be good. I don't know. It just seems pretty cool. And I'm listening to the audio book. I got the book from, physical book from my library, but I also listened to the audio book from my library as well. It's like, I put the request in and I did not expect it to be available. Like, so the timing is perfect. The timing is perfect. So that's really what I have going on. Other, other things I'm reading, actually, I, for some reason, just feel like telling you other things that I'm in the middle of reading. Um, I also was reading this book called The Marvelers by... Let me just go get the books, actually. Okay, we're back. And I'm telling you about some of the books I'm in the middle of, but actually, I need to get one more. So I mentioned that I was in the middle of reading The Marvelers by Danielle Clayton. And this is like a middle grade book that I paused. Unfortunately, I didn't like the audiobook, so I had to just pause it completely until I had time to just focus on this book. But I'm on page 87 and it's basically this girl, she's from New Orleans. I think she's, Danielle Clayton says like all her books from New Orleans, but she's like has magical powers. She goes to this like magical school. And I think it's pretty interesting. It's like both, I feel like up until like maybe 100 pages, I feel like every book I want, sometimes, a lot of times want to describe them as like the most interesting and most boring book ever. So it's like both, it's both, interesting and boring but she has magical powers and there's different to be honest I don't even remember like the magic system but there's like magic teachers and there's like bias against like people certain people um that have certain powers or don't have certain powers or, and like they're just like oh this girl's weird but overall I thought the magic system is like the coolest part of the book to be honest like I'm like oh uh I want to be here I don't know so that's cool that's a middle grade book um other books that are like I'm inching to itching other books that I'm itching to get back to but I just haven't yet um are Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen which I started and I was really liking this is this is a book where I have to have the audiobook and the physical book going at the same time like no in between so that's gonna be on pause until I just decide it's not and then The Haunting of Hill House because I'm in a spooky mood but also I think I read like the first couple of pages but ever since then I've just been thinking like oh my gosh can't wait to get back to that because I think the last line I read in underline is like because the girl one of the girls that ends up at the house like the haunted house and I think they're they're going there with the understanding that it's haunted and, and she's talking about how the woman got there and she's like Eleanor in short would have gone anywhere and I'm like oh my goodness like hooked me in gun Cho, me engancho. Enganchar? No, oh, I think that means it hooked me, but I can't remember. Um, yes, yeah, so the Northanger Abbey and then the tribe. Oh my gosh. So this is the narrative nonfiction about like modern Cuban life from like a, an actual Cuban uh, like writer. And then, yeah, and I talk about this all the time. Plenty of blogs about that. And then the last one is also magical. Um... There's also books that are on that I have through Kindle Limited in my library that I borrowed that I'm on, I'm using my phone right now and going through all of them. What well, do I want to go through all of them? <laughs> no, but there's also like magical stuff that I, that's going to be through there. But um, and then the last one is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which is another book that is on I have actually through my through Audible um because I have but I'm torn I think I like both um the the this book and the audiobook because they have illustrations and I don't know why like the man with the thistle down hair which sounds weird but like I like the illustrations I, I like illustrations and we we're like hey this is what I was thinking that that looked like <laughs> So yeah, that's like a little run through of all the things that I'm currently reading. Have I finished reading, completed a book in a while? Mm. Um, I I think this is also a good segue to like, I definitely am like pausing 
well obviously probably to some people um but definitely like pausing on like reviews and stuff like that but I will like keep mentioning books I'm reading um but I wanted to wrap this up really with um kind of like a not a chaotic update but it'd be a chaotic update about like what I'm going on what I'm reading what I'm thinking about all those books have been like living in my mind I can't wait to get back to them um and then also uh just working and so I'm gonna start the day I still have a few more minutes actually before I need to start the day um I got on my favorite shirt and I'm gonna actually focus today on reading for class tomorrow tomorrow's the first day of classes it's gonna be actually very exciting well it's very exciting to me I'm also extremely nervous and that's what I want to talk about at the end of this video because the next vlog will be like me going to class and kind of telling you what that is like and all that stuff but right now I want to have this video to where I can look back and see like how I was feeling before the semester started but also just share my thoughts because I have been like mostly excited i'd say like 95 to 98 percent extremely excited about school starting but that five percent that two to five percent um of me has been like extremely nervous about school and managing everything and not even managing everything but like doing well, like doing, not even well, cause I, I've never been like a straight A student. I've been like a cool student, but you know, um, I've struggled. <laughs> I've struggled. I actually just learned how to study with my Spanish classes, like my Spanish school, but also my Spanish teacher is like introduced me to like how studying works and like through working together, but also she'll send me stuff and things like that of like how like memory and like things work like that and even like the consistency in terms of like work ethic I have definitely have always had like work ethic but having the work ethic I that's like actually effective like you know not just spending time doing something but actually like being effective while doing that that's something that's very new um in terms of school stuff work is different because you know you have a final product and it's like more real um yes so all in all this is a professional degree program a professional master's program where we are focusing on like doing things and we will have like the theory and stuff in like the in the classroom stuff but like even in both of my classes like we're going to the archives and we're going to like actual sites and creating actual projects about how to display these things to the public so that is something that keeps me calmer in terms of like we're doing actual work and it's not really focused on theory but also i'm just very nervous on like how it's gonna go you know it's the unknown um yeah like the unknown is scary in itself but also school has gone like both ways like it's gone really well in some instances and it's gone terribly so we'll see that's another reason i'm only taking two classes through school and of course my spanish outside of school because you know i wanted to ease in see but also you know i don't think it'll come to it but if it does come to it i can literally just drop by i think next monday or sunday drop one of my classes if i feel like you know what this is gonna be too much also something i forgot to mention is the social anxiety is real and you know, I thought this was like a making of the pandemic and isolation. It's not. It's such a familiar feeling. But I'm very curious. I'm not really worried about not being able to step out of my comfort zone because it's a situation where the work and like the things that are interesting to me and like this, like the the studying, but also, you know, all of that is interesting enough to push me out into talking to people and stuff like that but I have noticed I'm like wow I need to come up with some strategies like I know working out and like all this stuff but like some strategies because dealing with people <laughs> it's not even dealing with people it's just like I think part of it is orientation is like you're talking about yourself really and you're just like putting yourself out there in a way that's like similar to to me it's not similar to networking but it's also a reason I hate like networking but um just leaning with my interests 
like once the semester starts and like we're actually like working on projects together and like talk I'm talking to these people about like the work that they do and stuff like that is less anxiety inducing than talking about myself and trying to like make friends and just like interact with people socially and stuff like that so that's something that I noticed from like the weeks of orientation that I was like wow this is a lot um so yeah that's something I'm very curious um about in terms of how we'll fare during the semester but also things that I'm thinking about in terms of working with it and around it to do what I gotta do um in certain situations and because like I said when it's like the interests you know when it's like the work and like the things that we're studying talking about and the things that we're all like mutually interested in it's like it'll push me more than talking about myself which is you know good and bad but yeah interesting isn't it so that's like a little dump of how I'm feeling before school um things like that it's really mostly positive and I'm really excited I feel like this is the program that I'm supposed to be in this is like what I'm supposed to be doing right now like just for everything so that's really what I got going on and I just thought I blanked back there. That's what I got going on. And I just want to say thank you for watching. And I'm really excited because I see like a, a lot of people, or at least more people than I expected, are like kind of excited to go on this journey with me. So let's get to it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.